Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at lowering board and some of the more powerful things you can do on it to make your stream look and exceed other streams. Let's get straight into it and I'll show you what we're talking about. Alright, we're here on our stream PC side of things. And I wanted to kind of, I guess this is more of a showcase video than anything else, because it really kind of depends on what you want to do with, with your stream, um, as far as visuals and audios and triggers. Remember, you can trigger anything and do anything with this guy. You can have a, a prime sub come in and toggle this certain resource to move across the screen, change its, its filter and make it turn blue and then disappear, and then a new one, make, you can make it blow up. You know, you can do thousands of things with Lorraine board because you can do actions in a queue that you can trigger or your chat can trigger. So I'm going to show you a few things that I've done on my stream just to give you a little bit of idea. And I hope that this kind of makes sense because there's a lot you can do. All right. So I guess the first thing I want to do is showcase these, these color buttons at the bottom. I have like purple, for example. And if you look at the command, it just turns off a bunch of colors and then turns on a bunch of colors. So if we go into my, my gaming screen, you'll kind of see a little bit more of what we're talking about. And usually where the game is up where the, the desktop is right here, but this is what for the most, for now, cause I'm changing everything in a million ways. I usually have other things fired off and going off, but this will give you a little idea. I have it on rainbow mode right now. And if you look at like the background, if I scroll all the way down to the background and I look at the filters, I have all these colors. Okay. So rainbow, blue, white, purple, whatever. And what, what this button is doing is turning off the rainbow and turning on pink, for example, um, with one button press. And that button press can be either activated by me by hitting, hitting pink or by chat because under here I have... Uh, it as a Twitch trigger that says I'm allowing, and I just, I've checked subs. If subs type in exclamation mark pink, then it changes all, it hits the button for it and that happens. So, you know, we have all these different colors and it's really cool. It's just an overlay switch, right? So I'm basically rewarding my subs. If they feel like a purple for the day, they can change it to purple on the fly, giving them a little bit of control and interactiveness to the, the stream. Cool, right? Well, another thing we have over here is a ton of visuals. These are all my visual triggers. And all these tr are triggered by channel points in my um, Lorraine board. So like here we have uh, Kirby, if you look, and I go into edit Twitch triggers, you can see that its redeem name is Kirby. And that's the same name as the channel points. If you want to see how the stuff is kind of like flowing through, well, here we go. And you can hit Kirby and he pops up. And what this does is it turns a variable off and on that says only one of them can be activated at a time and it adds it to a queue. That's why all these other buttons are here and they're all variable controls. It's kind of complicated. But that way, if, if I or somebody else hits like Toasty like three Puppy. times in a row, nobody loses their points. And Puppy. we can, and they'll come out in sequence. And we, we know that we're, it's all fired off. So that way... Um, they're not active at the same time, and also nobody loses their channel points and just goes to waste. Does that make sense? All right. Another one I wanted to show is some of my bit alerts off. Kind of proud of this one here. So I have like a 555, a 666, 777. I'll keep on adding some more. This is pretty complicated stuff. But if you go down here and I'll do the edit commands, you'll see... All of these different assets getting turned on at very specific times and then turned off at very specific times. Um, and then this is triggered, if you go underneath the edit twitch triggers, by a bit amount. Only the 777s, right? So if I go underneath here and I, I trigger that, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about. It starts off kind of like doll with a little bit of smoke on the bottom, some music starting to kick off in the background, and then it kind of builds up and builds up and builds up. Meanwhile, it says, thank you, you know, Bob, for popping in some donates for some bits. And then this is a cool visual effect 
it doesn't really in impact too much else. And then here we have do I go completely more crazy? And then all of a sudden, boom, right? Like it's it's pretty pretty impactful of some of the things that you can do on the screen. And I'm trying to tell you this is all capable of possible by ignoring how amazing it can be. I haven't seen too much of these other things that you can dial in that specifically and give you this much control automated. And also, um, that much control and, and dialability that other tools have had. This is this is the power of this tool. I highly recommend you going in there and and playing with it, checking it out. Um, and I would like to see what you do with your stream. I know I'm over here, right here. <laughs> Let me go over here. So show me what you're doing with your stream. Does this tool work for you? Have you tried it? Link your stream to me. I want to see it. Um, if this video kind of helps, great. Remember, we do have a setup and installation video as far as how to get Learning Board started. I'll link that video down in the description at the bottom. Check that out. If you have questions, come and ask me. I'll try to help you out. And at the same time, make sure you're giving this video a like and subscribing to this channel because we have more stuff coming on other fronts. And if you haven't done so already, follow me on Twitch. I stream quite often, and if you see me live, you're also also welcome to jump in and ask questions and game with me. And beyond that, I'll see you at you glitches next time. Be safe out there and have a lovely, lovely day. Tomorrow, I should be restocking my Steam keys. So we're probably going to get some uh, game giveaways tomorrow. We'll go ahead and pick off an Ash. Why not? What's, what's an Ash? We'll go ahead and pick off a May. Why not? We don't need we don't need Mays. Y'all don't need them characters, do you? What? Oh. Go ahead and sleep. If I may intrude. Oh my god!